welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming back. Today is the 4th of July, so I thought I'd do a 4th of July makeup inspired look. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I am going out in public, but just kind of something fun and festive. Our government's in shambles right now and America kind of sucks, not kind of, it really does suck, but I can't pass up an excuse to like do color themes and partying and barbecue. So here we are. I'm here for this holiday solely for the food. So I already did most of my basic face stuff. Usually I would do that after my eyes, but I'm insecure about my blemishes and flaws, so I had to cover them up for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the eyes. I'm gonna just take this NYX primer base in white and use it to prime my eyes. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my crease color, which is gonna be like a bright blue. So I'm using this BH Cosmetics 88 Color Shimmer Palette. This is such an old palette. It's probably not healthy to still use. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker blue and just get my outer corner. And I'm gonna take a more pointed like crease brush just to do that so I'm more specific. So I'm an idiot, I just now realized I don't even have red eyeshadow. So we're gonna go with the closest thing, which is like a coppery gold from this Too Faced Love palette in the middle. Flat brush, put some on it and cover up the lid. Oh, that's kind of red. That's red enough. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of like some pink from my shimmer palette just to brighten up the red. Next thing I'm just gonna go in with like a shimmery white. This is just from Sephora and it's called Aspen Summit North 23 Degrees. Very specific. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and go into the inner corner of my eye. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. This is from Claire's, believe it or not, but they make pretty decent cheap eye glitter. I'm gonna go in with the dark blue. I'm just gonna put glitter on the blue. So next thing I'm gonna do is just add some eyeliner just to kind of give it a little bit more definition. I'm gonna use Tarte's long, Tarte's Precision Longwear Liner. It's a liquid liner. I really like this. This Steel and Kat Von D are like the best liquid liners. And I'm not doing a wing or anything, but you could totally do a wing. You could also use like dark blue or bright blue or even red liner. That would be fun. I just don't want to go that crazy. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of my bottom lash, li lash line just to connect that corner. But this is the Marc Jacobs one. Oh, it is hot. Now I'm gonna take mascara, my favorite mascara, Estee Lauder. Next, I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone a little bit with this Shy Beam from Benefit. Draw a little line on, and then blend it out with my fingers. So the last thing I'm gonna do is lipstick. So I'm gonna go for a classic red lip. However, I think if I was going to like a fun party or something right now, as opposed to just like chilling, I'd probably do blue lipstick. So it's whatever you, it's whatever you want. I'm gonna use Stila Stay All Day in the shade Fiery. So it gets a liquid matte one, uh, and it does stay all day. So there you go, that's my finished 4th of July makeup look. Pretty simple, pretty standard, nothing really too crazy, but a little bit of fun and a little festive. Thanks for watching, let me know if you want me to do more of these makeup videos, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, let me know. I had a lot of fun doing this. Happy 4th of July, bye.